Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2019 Mathematics Paper 2, Question 2B on Geometric Progression. The question reads, given the geometric progression 4, 8, 16, find, given the geometric progression 4, 8, 16, Find 1. The geometric mean of 256 and 1024. 2 marks. So, for our first question, we are told to calculate the geometric mean. So, what is the geometric mean? The geometric mean is just the nth root of the product or for the the terms given so what we have is geometric mean is equal to uh, the root okay we'll put whatever the nth root of uh the the various terms so we can have uh t1 times t2 times it continues until times the nth term. So this will be the formula for the geometric mean. In our case, we only have two terms, which is 256 and 1024. It means that we are going to have the square root of the product of these two terms. Therefore, the geometric mean is equal to the square root of 256 multiplied by 1024. So this is what we are looking for. So 256 times 1024. So we'll have 256 multiplied by 1024. So, we actually have uh, two, 262,144. 262, so, this is going to give us 264,144. And we are looking for the square root of this number. So, we look for the square root so we we will just copy okay then square then There. So the answer is 512. 512. So the geometric mean is 512. So the geometric mean is 512. So that is the geometric mean. We move on to the second question. The second question says, Find the 11th term. Find the 11th term. Two marks. So, for any, for any geometric, uh, for any geometric uh, progression question, we need two things to find any term that uh, we wish to find. We need to find the, the common ratio and the first term so we have been given the first term to be equal to four but the common ratio is what we don't have but we can find the common ratio the common ratio will be found by dividing this the second term by the first term or the third term by the second term so the common ratio is equal to eight over four eight over four 
4 into 4, 1, 4 into 8 is 2. So the common ratio is equal to 2. So we have our common ratio which is equal to 2. So having found our common ratio, we can now look at uh, the general formula in uh, geometric progression for finding the nth term. So the nth term is equal to the first term multiplied by the common ratio raised to the power n minus 1. So we are looking for the 11th term. So where there is n, we replace with 11. So t11 is equal to the first term is 4. So 4 uh, multiplied by 2 raised to the power 11 minus 1. Okay? Okay? So we are going to have... We are going to have uh, the 11th term is equal to 4, open bracket, 2 raised to the power 11 minus 1 is 10, raised to the power 10. Okay? So, there. So, what is 2 to the power 10? 2 to the power 10. Two to the power ten is equal to one thousand twenty four. One thousand twenty four. So this is equal to four multiplied by multiplied by one thousand twenty four. So one thousand twenty four. So 4 multiplied by 1024, so this multiplied by 4 is 4096, 4096, so 4096, so this will be our 11th term, 11th term is 4090. Six four thousand ninety six. All right, we go to the third part of the question. The third part of the question is saying the sum of the first eleven terms. The sum of the first eleven terms. Now, for us to choose the formula for the sum, we first need to look at the value of the common ratio. So uh, in our case, the common ratio is equal to 2, which is greater than uh, 1. So the common ratio is greater than 1. Because it's greater than 1, we'll pick a formula that will have R greater than 1. Okay? R greater than 1. Or, which is uh, the sum of any terms is equal to the first term, open bracket, r to the power n minus 1 over r to the power n or r minus 1 okay uh-huh so a the first term open bracket the common ratio raised to the power n minus 1 over r to the power r minus 1 so the sum of sum of the first 11 terms is equal to the first term which is 4 open bracket 2 to the power 11 minus 1 close bracket over 11 or oh, over 2 minus 1 okay so uh, we can now compute so it will be 4 2 to the power 11, 2 to the power 11, 2 raised to the power 11 is equal to 2048, 2048, 2048 minus 1, okay, then over 2 minus 1 is 1, so 2048 minus 1 is 2047. So it's 4 multiplied by 2047. So 
over 1 2047 times times 2047 times 4 2047 and multiply by 4 which is 8188 8188 so this is equal to 8188 uh, is the sum of the first 11 terms 8188 uh, this brings us to the end of this video this brings us to the end of this video and thanks for watching if you've not yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe see you next time